All right, guys, let's talk about Mac OS. It's great, I love it, and I've been using it for over 20 years, but it still baffles me that there are so many very basic features it's missing. So this is me calling out Apple on all the basics they're missing, because, you know, I'm a random guy on the internet. Just kidding, I know what I'm talking about, and mark my words, we'll see some of these added to Mac OS soon. Let's start with a really basic feature, and we'll use Slack to demonstrate this. Someone sends you a message. You read it, but you're in the middle of something and can't respond right now. And let's be real, half the time you forget to get back to them because you read their message when you were in a rush. In Slack, I'll tell it to remind me about this message. And after a set time, I get a notification about the same message. With this, you'll never forget to reply to your messages. This needs to be in Apple's Messages app. On iOS, macOS, all of it. Please and thank you. You know this big old notch your laptop has? The reason it's there is because there's a camera on your laptop. And if there's a camera, why can't you unlock your Mac with Face ID? I don't know about you guys, but personally, I'm a big fan of convenience and making my life easier. So seeing a Face ID as an option to unlock your Mac would be rad. Touch ID is cool too, but I think we can take it one step further. And then the apps... A company that's known for their seamlessly smooth ecosystem and compatibility between devices somehow doesn't have Mac support for health, fitness, and journal apps. Apple's health and fitness apps are amazing, especially if you wear an Apple Watch. The amount of data we have stored in these apps is crazy, and what's crazier is that we're forced to view and analyze all that data on a small iPhone screen. You can't even look at your fitness statistics on an iPad. I'm a big fan of the journal app too, but who the heck wants to write long journal entries on their phone? These are just quick, dirty mock-ups, but imagine how much easier it would be to look at all this on a computer screen rather than a phone. Another update I'd like to see is the ability to customize the login screen. You can currently add a tiny little message above the user account, and I have a separate video for how to do that, but why not make this like iOS and allow users to add widgets and other useful info on the login screen? The widgets already exist for the desktop, so why not enable them on the lock screen as well? seems like an easy way to improve the user experience. Speaking of widgets, remember Dashboard? This was introduced with OS X Tiger somewhere around 2004 and later removed in 2019 with Mac OS Catalina. Why a perfectly good and functional feature was removed, we'll never know. Having all your widgets on a dashboard was awesome, and for some unknown reason, Apple had to ruin that too and completely remove Dashboard. I'm glad they brought widgets back, but after removing Dashboard, it's never been the same. Having an overlay with all your important widgets and being able to trigger that with a single key or a hot corner was peak Mac design, and with new versions of macOS, we've taken a step back. And while I'm on the topic of how certain things used to be better with older versions, the darn sleep timer, I'm going to buy a beer and a burrito to the person at Apple who can explain why this was removed from macOS and why after almost three years, it's still not a built-in option in this wild, wild thing we call system settings. I guess all resources were tied up designing new emojis and this window tiling feature, which everyone hates. So, yeah, if you could just bring back the sleep timer, that'd be great. Thanks. Next up, macOS needs a better way to manage system data. System data is this mysterious thing on your Mac that takes up storage, sometimes hundreds of gigabytes, but your system will never tell you exactly what's taking up space or where these files are. This is by far the biggest pain point of Mac users when it comes to storage. Just look at these YouTube tutorials. Thousands and thousands of people are trying to figure this out on a daily basis. Not surprisingly, my system data tutorial is the most viewed video on my channel. Tons of people here who were able to clear hundreds of gigabytes, but they needed a YouTube tutorial to be able to do it. This should be easier and managed by the system so users don't need to start looking up tutorials. But in the meantime, if you struggle with this, go check out my tutorial. All right, one more missing feature. I've never been a huge fan of the Magic Trackpad, but I do think it's a missed opportunity that you can't use your iPad or even iPhone as a trackpad. Imagine being able to whip out an iPad and use it as a massive trackpad for the tasks that benefit from it. Or let's say your Bluetooth mouse stops working with your desktop computer. Having a backup solution like this would be a nice option to have. I know there are some third-party apps that allow you to use an iPad as a trackpad, but this just feels like something that should have had a native support a long time ago. Those are the features I think macOS is missing. One thing I didn't mention was Apple Intelligence. It's pretty useless right now, but there are a lot of things it could be used for. But 
maybe we'll save that for another video. Anyways, let me know what I missed and subscribe to see more videos like this.